Hey, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Critically Dead. I am one of your hosts, of course, RJ. Sitting across from me is the man, the myth, Rooster. What's up? What's going on, pal? Not much. Um, Interesting episodes. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, did, you, did you know you can ingest anthrax at any time and be able to live the next day? No idea. Okay. Also, while you're on anthrax, you can call a cosmonaut. You can. I mean, you, maybe a smoke signal will be better. I don't know. Maybe. Um, I I bust balls, but uh, not too bad of an episode. No. Our episodes. They were annoyingly surprising. Um. Of course, this week we're talking about episode 307, The Unveiling. Also attached to it was 308, Children of Wrath. Um, oh, God, it pains me to say this, but <laughs> I liked it. It hurts, yeah. It hurts to say it. You it's, said, it's almost like you don't want to admit it, but it they weren't awful. I mean, I just, yeah. It would be sucky if we quit. Before season three, and we weren't coerced to come back from our fans. Yeah, I might have. And then we heard it. later, like, it got better? <laughs> yeah. Then we'd be at 3B coming back in, like, okay, guys, we're sorry. Yeah, crickets. Um, What was your letter grade, you think? Um, You want all around or each episode? Uh, well, if you broke it down that much, I'll go there with you. Yeah, so I think for uh, episode seven, I think I'm about a B minus. Okay. And then I think at the, at the finale, I'm... I'm hovering like maybe upper B's. Upper B's. B, B, B plus maybe. Yeah. There. Uh, <clears throat> before I give my letters, I think, of course, we say it every week. At least I do. It's always got some sort of bullshit. Like I tease oh, about the anthrax. Yeah. We yeah. said it. You get a cut on your finger, and it might be doom for you. You could be doomed in the apocalypse. In the apocalypse. Yeah. Um, the cosmonaut stuff, while kind of getting strand where he was going was kind of beautiful in nature seeing Strand watch himself die mm-hmm. and become a new... I think we're getting a new Strand. I think so. His former self has died away. Yeah. But the cosmonaut stuff, I don't think was needed for that. I, no. I mean, the cosmonaut just took me right out of it. And if anybody knows how ham radios work or CBs or whatever he was using, we understand it's possible, but we neither one of us dug into it. Yeah. But... I I just think it'd be it's just you're asking a lot to watch a zombie apocalyptic show. You're asking I mean, a lot of things. Couldn't it just been a sinking ship, fifty miles from him, to where there's no way he could get to it, but the guy's still saying his goodbye or whatever. I wonder if that would have worked. As I had, I don't know if it's it's better or whatever. My idea was maybe he had a vision of Thomas, his boyfriend. Yeah. Um. You know, Strand feeling sorry for himself. He's struggling to either figure out to go on or just let himself die off. Mm-hmm. He sees Tomas come back. Yeah. And he has a conversation. It's really, it's all in his head, but yeah, it might have been beautiful that way. It could have been. To I get mean, him on his next path. Anything's better than an astronaut. Because we, yeah, I just didn't like it. <laughs> no. We got Ophelia in the desert where. We did. She saw Daniel yes. trying to motivate her to keep going. Yeah. Why not do that with Strand? Yeah. I mean, you could have just put Thomas's voice on the radio. Maybe. Oh, yeah. You know. Then we would have been busting our balls about Rick <laughs> talking to other people. We would have. But that's okay. But it would have made sense it here. Would, I, I think even though it was a path already treaded, I think it still would have been better than an astronaut. Yeah. that Those two things that we just talked about, and someone needs to put a bullet in Madison's face immediately, right? Can't happen soon enough. It. This show wants us to think that she's King Dingling. Yeah. But she's annoying now. We're on we're starting to approach Negan level annoying, I feel. Oh, at least in my bad. mind. Yeah. No, I I could see that. Um at one point she's trying to rescue Alicia, one of her kids, while taking her other kid to go do it. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. Shortly before that, she's trying to tell Nick not to join the militia. Mm-hmm. So it's so lopsided and flippy floppy all the time. It's, it's very. This chick busted in rooms 24 7. I would have done shot her in the face by now. <laughs> Whoops. Another rule, one of the rules, I don't know who's writing them down, but the quarry. Somebody should be are, taking notes. You are knocking on doors. Yeah. I don't care if anybody's in there fucking, washing their ass. It doesn't matter. Strategic. You knock on doesn't the porta potty. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It, it's common fucking sense. Yes. You don't come bolting in here. And there will be a standing law 
if somebody busts into your room or your place without knocking, full, go ahead, blow them up. Yeah, I mean, oh, God. I, even Jeremiah through the episode is like, does anybody fucking knock around here? <laughs> no, they don't. The Clarks don't. No, apparently. they don't. They, they're very, very ignorant people. Uh, so that was always fun. But yeah, Madison is just irritating. Um, <laughs> she's kind of driving back to the, uh, Walker's reservation yeah, or compound, whatever. <laughs> she's just like demanding and yeah, like, I would just be like, go ahead and shoot, shoot her, her Ophelia. Yeah. And we'll shoot you and I'm going to continue my dinner. I just won't put up with this shit. No, not at all. Um, so yeah, those are some thoughts, but I, I think I didn't really give it a, Two letter grade situation. I think I'm sitting at an A minus. A minus. A minus. Combined A minus. Combined A minus. I can see that. I think you're all right with that. Um, because the uh, this this what they did was they had me engaged. Yeah. There yeah. was some shenanigans all the time, but I was like, okay, let's keep. It was moving along. It actually moved. Yes. Imagine these two hours in The Walking Dead. Oh man. It would have been a half a season, right? Oh, at least. Minimal. So, it might have been more. It might have been a, like three quarters of a season. And it's so strange to talk this way about this show. Yeah. I mean, last season. Because, I mean, they've been talking about war for, what, two or three episodes now? It, that, there is some of that, yeah. I mean, but you, I mean, you have to build it up. You have to figure out who the enemy is. Walker's right? been threatening left and but right. But since we've met Walker, it's only been a few episodes. Um, let me ask you this. Do you think Walker's appeased? I think so. I think For so now. too. I think so. I think ultimately he wanted Otto dead. Yeah, I think it was just between him and Otto. But he does need water. He does. He and does. as soon as like someone comes around and looks at Otto's body, maybe the, one of the boys comes over and tries to wish his dad goodbye. He's like, uh, "Where's his head? His fucking head's gone." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, it, I don't know. Like I said before, we started to record. I, I've kind of got like a man crush on Walker. Because yeah. it's like, I think this guy, like, exudes, like, demand. Like, yeah. He, whenever he's on screen, I'm like, I'm following that dude. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know if it's because we don't ever get a chance to see American Indians a lot on television portrayed this way or so, anything. We just don't see a lot yeah, of I it. mean, yeah, usually they're, like, villains, right? Villains or degenerates or some bullshit. Yeah, they never really have a, a proper... And unfortunately, they're always tied into, you know, uh, what Otto was trying to preach at some point. Yeah, Drunks, yeah. you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Gamblers. Welfare recipients, all these weird yeah. things. But I, I enjoyed his 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 delivery. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and I can follow this dude. Yeah. Uh, I hope he sticks around. I don't think he's long for the world, unfortunately. I think him and Troy are going to come at some point. Yeah. I but, don't think he'll be here forever, but I think he'll have a bit. He'll be here for a little while. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed his his delivery, his uh, what he brought to the show. Um, mm-hmm. I hope it can stand for a while. Like, yeah, I just I don't know. I'm kind of giddy. Like, kinda I don't know, giddy, huh? I, think about it. The season three A compared oh, to man. seven, all of it of The Walking Dead. Yeah, no. Um, and we never, none of us wanted to be in this predicament, right? No, no. I at this point, if you were talking to me this time last year. I was yeah. dead set on just hating this show. And you're ex- kind of dragging excited. your feet for this, too. Yeah, I was so excited to just come in here and just bash it daily. Yeah. And I was going to be happy. I didn't want to do it, but I'm kind of glad we're covering it now. And we still hold out hope to figure out how Erickson <laughs> gets kicked out. Or Hopefully. If he quit, I, he quit on his own. You know, I'm kind of falling into the point where I'm, I'm kind of okay with if it gets better, I'll be happy with that. Maybe, like I joked before we started to record, like maybe the guy didn't realize he had to make a good show. Yeah. And so now that he's doing that, now it's like AMC <laughs> wanted a band show or something. Yeah, they're like, whoa, 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 this is getting too good. Too good. You're, you, you're, you're fucking over The Walking Dead. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. got to go. We got to get some other clown in here. Right. Um, but yeah, I still hold out hope that there's something, something, something wacky, like a spaceship drops out or something. Oh, give it time. It's going to, something's got to happen. No Ratchet Awards yet this year. Oh, dude. I think they've been listening to us. I think so. Something, they have taken some of our ideas, right? They had to. They, they Someone had to like, okay, these guys are assholes, but <laughs> they have some points. <laughs> they must have an intern listening to us. And yeah. if you're there, please write in. Yeah. Use your fake name, whatever. I just want someone to say, hey, we heard you, okay? Sha- Shaquille, maybe? Shaquille. Is he the, is he the mole? 
Oh, that'd be awesome. Wouldn't it? Get us some tickets, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking hold out. Um, so we have a lot to get through. Um, no. Two episodes worth, so. Yeah, we'll get through it. We're already time. about 10, 11 minutes in so far. Um, so let's just jump in and see where we are. All right, so we see Jake. He's on his way to talk with Walker. Oh. What? Time out. Do you, I have the numbers? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Red Dirt was last week's episode. Yeah. Do you want to guess how oh. many viewers? Because th- they didn't get these this two episodes viewership okay. on Wikipedia. So. Get, yeah, all right. So last week it finally got printed. So okay. what do, what's your guess right off the bat? Um, for, Remember for we were floating week, around right? 2.4, 2.5 was their medium. Okay. Um, Where do you think we are? I'm going to go with about 2.3, 2.2, somewhere around still there. off. No. Well, 2.2, it's 2.19. Ouch. That's the lowest they've ever been. Wow. Something, I, like it's too little too late, maybe. Maybe, unfortunately. And it sucks. Well, I think, I think they did, I think I say it every week, but they really launched this at the worst time ever. Yeah. In the dead middle of summer when everyone's busy, nobody cares about what's on TV. Wouldn't it be a weird world that we live in if Fear the Walking Dead is the, the anchor and the Walking Dead is the kowtow? <laughs> If it if it continues on these lines, both shows continue yeah. like this. It it I don't think it would ever happen, but it's possible. Um, yeah, it's so strange. It's got maybe it, is. it speaks volumes. Yeah, no it, matter what direction you're looking at, it if speaks only, volumes. If only fear had more likable characters. Yeah, that and sometimes you start rooting for somebody, then they do something stupid, and you're like, yeah. God damn yeah, it! It's hard to root for anybody on that show. And oh god, I'm gonna start puking here in a second. But here we go. I was like, Do I like Troy now? What oh, the boy. fuck is happening? What's going on? I know, dude. I was like, But he was getting con left and right from Madison this oh, episode. He was. I'm yeah. gonna go tell everybody is he what that you did. Dumb? Is he that dumb? I just don't want to deal with him longer. But I think if we had him in little tiny spurts, he would yeah. have been manageable. Yeah. Not yeah. a whole episode, basically, of him no. in the beginning of the season. Yeah. All these other shenanigans he's pulled. Yeah. Especially on the polar opposite of his brother. <laughs> so, and his brother's a D-bag, too. Like, he makes the dumbest decisions as they're well. Not, they're not the brightest. It's amazing they've survived this long. Uh, so yeah, let's, I'm sorry. It's okay. I just want to get those numbers out. 2.19 or lowest yet for red dirt. Wow. All right. So we see Jake, he's on his way to go talk to Walker. Um, he hears something, makes a run for it. It's Alicia. This fucking dude backs into Alicia. Yeah. Did you, if anybody goes back and (laughs) watch this, I meant to watch, I I watch it on the second watch. I'm like, he literally runs a little bit away and then backs into the fucking, the way she's coming. Like what is happening here? It was a beautiful shot. Yeah. My, I remember Melissa was asking, um, where Melissa? do they film this? Melissa, also known as Mo. Oh, okay. Because we ruined that two episodes ago. So, yeah. She's now been outed. Mo, um, Mo she's Melissa. 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 Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we can, we're going to get dangerously off track again. Um, oh, no, we got to, let's wrap this up. But, uh, she said that, like, where do they shoot that? Because it, it looked like a drone shot. They're going through the creeks and stuff. Yeah, it looked very yeah, beautiful. Yeah. It's at least uh, like some kind of boom. Yeah, yeah. Or, or drone. It was traveling of. forward. Yeah. I was like, okay, I'm well, with didn't you. both episodes kind of start the same way? A little bit, yeah. You know? Yeah, so I think, yeah. You know, I don't know about that. But I just found it fucking hilarious that this guy backs into the way, it was the direction like she Scooby-Doo. was coming. It was something out of Scooby-Doo. But he managed, it's like, it's always funny. Every TV show is guilty of this shit. He's walking along. He doesn't manage to hit any fucking tree brushes or branches. Nothing. Walkers don't even hit it. But you got the person always trailing <laughs> to get that one <laughs> lead guy to turn around. It's all the time. It happens a lot. And it's, it's, it's the funny. desert. Let's face it. There's not trees everywhere. It's not a forest in Georgia. Oh God! Maybe at that point, if she maybe she didn't know if she was that close, but like Jake, Jake, yeah, anything. Look at my tattoo. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Oh, oh man. Um, she breaks the news about Vern and his family. Uh, she tries to talk him out of t- out of going to see Walker. Doesn't work. Um, they find the tribal headquarters. They just walk in. Um, Walker's group takes their weapons and, um. Yeah, Walker offers them lunch. Um, it was pretty... God damn it. I'm using <laughs> words that it doesn't belong. It was kind of clever oh. that the pig's head was foreshadowing what ultimately he wanted. Yeah. Because we get, yeah. he gets his head at the end of the episode. Wow, clever writing. Cle- don't say it too much. <laughs> 
four A is going to be a fucking disaster because they're hearing us be three three B three. Well, it's or three B's already in the can. Okay, yeah. So um, that's true. Then I was I wrote down Walker must have stole Michonne's fucking katana because he's taking <laughs> he's using some sort of weird blade to butcher a pig. Yeah, and I was like, I wouldn't let that thing leave my side in the zombie apocalypse. Oh, it's it's the go to. Right. Um, but I was like, why has he got like a Japanese looking sword? I don't know how you butcher a pig. I don't want to be I, around during that. No, I just, I just I like, like bacon. bacon. Yeah. I don't want to make it. Yeah. I was just like, Michonne's going to be pissed. Oh, yeah. That's Definitely. her fucking sword, dude. <laughs> Who wins in a fight? Who, what's Walker's go to weapon? Like, we always get that. Uh, we got Daryl with the crossbow, Michonne yeah. with swords. I mean, I really wish it was a tomahawk, but I think that's a little. Ooh, right on the nose. Yeah. Yeah. But it'd be badass. Let's just it would be. That, I mean, I think that would be an awesome weapon that, in the apocalypse. Like two of them. Yeah. Like just fucking a badass yeah. dude. Just yeah. fucking flinging them like a nunchucks or something. Oh. Just like just tearing shit up. Oh, you could throw one and you still have the other one and go back and get it. Oh, man. And it might be. I don't know if it's racist, but I think that would be badass. I don't think it is. I think I think the way we're talking about it, it, it makes it okay. We're not being racist about no, it. We're just like make not. that because it looks badass. It does because we Rick's got an axe, yeah, kind of. But it's, but it's not, not a tomahawk. It's not. It's not a badass. Or axe. maybe just a. He literally has a camping axe. An elongated axe or something. Something, something that's not heavy. Something he's just fucking just wielding yeah. like a motherfucker. I could see him having some speed. Yeah, you know. And, you know, his hair gets out of the fucking ponytail and it's blown oh, in the breeze. Man. He's like fucking blood splattering everywhere. You really do have a little man crush on I know, him, I'm getting you? a chub. Yes, you are. I can yeah. see that. <laughs> we really got to start watching. <laughs> Go back in your hole. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, Manny tells Nick that Alicia didn't come home. <clears throat> um, Nick tells her to leave her alone. Um, Jeremiah tells them Jake is missing too. Nick wants to go look for, wants to go look for them, but Jeremiah tells him he won't make it out there. Uh, Jeremiah tells him Troy needs new people, so Nick is in that easily. Yeah, people like Nick's is like Alicia went out drinking again. She's fucking Jake, blah blah blah. Yeah, we're in a state of war, right? Yeah, but she's just off getting you know getting yeah. her rocks off. She's getting shit faced and just banging. It, it doesn't sound right, and it's no. it's a weird scene, but I just let it go. <laughs> it's a, you're in a state of war, potentially. Yeah. Let's everybody on deck right now. Don't fuck yeah. around. If you're at the quarry, we're under attack. You better not be fucking anywhere right? or walking off. You can't be getting getting blitzed in the no in the high hut. No, no, not you can't a, have that. Can't have a bunch of Ewoks running around. <laughs> oh. So uh, Jake and L talk with Walker. Uh, Alicia tells him he killed Vernon. Um, they go on about court. Walker tells them the day of the court is over and they have to vacate. Jake wants to parlay. Oh, wait, was that Ophelia? No, this is when Jake finally arrives. Yeah. No, no, but that's when we see Ophelia. She delivers the food. Oh, yeah, yeah the food is the table. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I had my head down taking notes and I actually just wrote that. Um, It was a bad, bad note taking. Yeah, she... I, I thought about it because they, they, you see her from a distance walking up to the table. Yeah. And I was like, that's Ophelia. Yeah, so this, Even is, though, this is how they introduce a missing character for eight episodes or seven episodes. And everybody's like, what was her name again? Yeah. Yeah, it's been so long since we've seen her. I was like, wait, who? Oh, wait, that is Ophelia, right? Um, Yeah, it was like a clever reveal again. Not clever yeah. in a good way. Just no, like, oh, great. Just, yeah. Um, but yeah, d- d- yeah. I'm sorry. Did you? I was, did I was you ready to jump in him. here. Did you think she was with him, with Walker's group? I don't think we ever speculated where she was. We did. Did we? Because it was the only last place. Because these clerks are all over the fucking camp, broke jaw. Yes. They go in any tent or fucking wherever household, they, wherever they want. <laughs> they just if don't knock. Nick wants a house, he fixes it up with Windex and scrubs the wall a couple times. Yeah, even though it's hiding bodies. And, and later on, yeah. fucking Bob Vila comes through and builds walls up for him. So that's his place. If she was at Broke Jaw, we would have known it by now. We would have. I would have been upset, honestly. Yeah. If she's yeah. down in some sort of like I've been in the kitchen. Like, no, asshole. Yeah. Don't don't fucking lie to me. So I, <laughs> I had a we kind of called it. You said it. We kind of called like she has to be at Yeah. The other side. I was kind of hoping she was in like some dungeon. I don't know. It, I don't know. She's with the chick from season two's airplane. Yeah. <laughs> that we said there was it's a major character coming up. 
And she was in for what, two episodes? No, I don't even know. All I know is she was crazy and it was pointless. I just remember her being on a raft. Yeah. Uh, Dragging her. <laughs> Travis yeah. said, we can drag you. Good <laughs> God, this show was bad at some point, wasn't it? <laughs> it was just a shit show. That's why they burned Abigail, because people didn't <laughs> like it. They're like, okay, this shit ain't coming back. We oh, understand now. I have words to say about that. Okay. So Troy's troops hit the range. Nick tells Troy he's signing up. Troy wants a permission slip. Nick wants to join because he feels bad for what he caused. Troy hands him a hands him a gun. I swear to God, you must have. <coughs> oh, no, maybe I, I just wrote anything. it. it uh, what do you? What do you? <laughs> is this the part where he Nick next scene is him cutting his hair? Um, no. Then we go back to Alicia and Ophelia. Oh the yeah, conversation. And the, yeah, and then yeah. at some point he'll start cutting his dread her his hair. <laughs> dread hair. Yeah, his dread hair. Grease pit. Yeah, Alicia has. Yeah, I liked it, Alicia that she was bitching at Ophelia. Yeah, you crazy bitch, you ran off. Yeah, left oh. us for fucking dead. Now you're skipping around. No, no, I'm looking at what I were in order. All right, so we're skipping the part where Nick Nick joined with Troy. I didn't write that down. Probably. Yeah, they're at the range, and I mean there wasn't much there. This is all combobulated here. It is. I all I know is Nick cuts his hair right before the commercial break. Yeah, we're not there yet. Okay. All right. So sorry, you should drive. It's all right. <laughs> Alicia and Ophelia have a conversation about how how she got there. Uh, Taco took her in. Who's Taco? <laughs> Taco. Kataka. Kataka. Walker. He's got too many names. Yeah. Too many names. But he took her in. Uh, Alicia's mad that Ophelia left. Uh, she tells her the tribe is is bad. They're full of bad people. <sighs> Ophelia tells her no way they could have killed Vernon's family. Um, Jake tells Alicia to go back and tell Jeremiah about the parlay, but Alicia Alicia stays and Jake goes. Yeah, this is uh this is a Clark re- uh, rearing its head again. Like, no, you go. I'll stay or like whatever. Why would you say? How's she gonna find her way? Yeah, well, the way he said it, like the way we came. Yeah. Well, what other way is there? Like he, An like airplane? she remembers. Yeah, it was kind of dumb on his part. Yeah, but it, I, I only noted that Alicia just like being a Clark refuses any type of like of demands or yeah, like no, I'm not. I'll stay here. You go. She had the right argument. Like your dad needs to hear from you, but like just, I hear what you're saying, but no, I'm yeah. going to. We're going to do it my way. It's, yeah. She takes after her mother. I agree. Um, so I yeah. agree. Parlay. Parlay. We don't get that word a lot in no. the world. No. I want to hear more of that. Parlay. Parlay. I think it's only in the South you get that. I don't know. In duel. Duel? Every time I hear parlay, I think of a duel. D-U-E-L? You going to go do a duel? Like one-on-one? Yeah. Just like where you walk away and shoot each other. Yeah, you don't get those anymore anywhere. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you don't get much of that anywhere. I think that's how we should start solving things. In the quarry, that's how we will solve things. If people fuck around to the point... Yeah, I don't know what we had to figure out the the level of aggression. What gets to a duel? Well, if if you're a dangler, a dangler, and you're still fucking off. Okay, then we go to the duel. But who's dueling against this one? So the Some dangler might fuck. fuck yeah, yeah, it's a fuck off against a fuck off. Yeah, and but, then the one who who survives goes back to dangling. Or and maybe if someone get their shit together. messes with someone else's spouse, that's a duel. That's a that's a, yeah. And maybe we'll just start cutting off feet at that point. No, then we gotta feed these assholes. This is true. Um, well, we'll dangle you for a bit, and then once you go hungry and just die. Yeah, we were gonna, we're gonna get used we'll out of you, you yeah. at some point. Yeah. But a duel I like. Yes. Or just a straight up. We can't. We can't give up the bullets. No. They have to maybe box it out. Maybe we'll. Maybe we'll use like simulated something like paintball guns. And then if you if you lost and you get stabbed in the throat or something. Yeah. We might have to go Game of Thrones route. Yeah. Like a a champion fighting for somebody. But that might be getting too crazy. Well, we're going to have a lot of time to write out these rules. Yeah, this is true. But here's another idea. Okay. No paintball or nothing like that. No. uh, Just swords. No gunfire. Yeah. Plenty of rocks. (laughs) Plenty of rocks at the quarry. Tons of rocks. You know, maybe a golf golf ball size or maybe a baseball size rock. Yes. You can throw one each. Slingshots. Done. Deal. Moving on. Done. So, uh, Man. Maddie, and Nick, Maddie yeah, it's a rule. It's a so, rule. So whoever's taking notes better write that down. Yep. So, and whoever comes to the quarry first with all these notes, 
they are a right hand man. Yeah, they're, lady. they're a secretary. Yeah, they're male it, or immediately female. Immediately, they're matter. okay. Whoever comes with these Someone rules. With very detailed notes. Yes. Yes. And, fe- and it, it feels like they have some sort of head on their shoulders. Yeah, but they are they are set to the same rules as everybody else. Oh yeah, no. Just no. because you can write nice. Yeah, no. And listen, but but don't fuck get, off. You get a little special treatment. Yeah, you get a little bit. Just a bit. And we follow the same rules too. Mm. Okay. <laughs> You're right. We are king dinglings. We are. So uh, Maddie and Nick, oh, Maddie finds Nick cutting his hair. <laughs> yeah, okay, stop there. How does this guy get a perfect haircut with a fucking knife and like the smallest fucking, he must have got down into the Titanic and got one of those mirrors off the boat down there in the ocean. He had to have. Like, there's no other mirrors here. Yeah. All these people can't cut your fucking hair. Your mother's sitting right next to you, man. Somebody. Somebody, he, I feel like I could cut hair better than you could. Yeah. Like, you Just know, you cut your hair away. with a knife. Yeah. Sawing Sawing away your own hair. Yeah. And he leaves himself bangs, which <laughs> I fucking hate. I yeah. hate bangs. Bangs are very cool in the 80s. Why is that? Why would you want that in the apocalypse? Something in your fucking face, your eyeballs uh, at all times. No. Greasy. Yeah. Uh, dirty. No. Something all the time. Like I, I think we've talked about this before. Bald is the best. Bald is when the fucking best. When it comes to the apocalypse. Because you know you're going to start getting ticks in there, potentially lice, all sorts of weird Absolutely. shit. Absolutely. Um, just I don't, dirt and grease in general. Not bangs. No you, bangs. You 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 could have got some help. Is yeah, all I'm no saying. No bangs. No bangs. You fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you you almost had me, Nick, but then you fucked up again. Right. So uh, Nick tells her he'd rather it fight was with at the this mo- moment that he knew he fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Fuckers. So Nick tells him he tells her he'd rather fight with the militia than die with the old timers. I don't blame him. If you're going to go out, you might as well go out with a fight, right? Uh, I was trying to catch up to you. It's okay. Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> I said it three times now. No, I didn't. What, what, so, what line are you reading? So Nick Nick tells Madison he'd rather fight with the militia oh, yeah, yeah. Than, than with the old timers. It says he's 20 years old. That's established too now. We thought he was a little older, I thought right? he was like 30. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he has a fucking receding hairline like a 30-year-old. Well, that's why he left himself bangs. Yeah. Now you know. Now he's he's got a fucking comb over in the apocalypse. There will be no goddamn comb overs at the fucking quarry. <laughs> Section 7B. Yep. Carry the three. Take that down, future secretary. So Jake and Ophelia make it back. Maddie is mad. <laughs> Mad that he left Alicia behind. Um, Maddie has words with Ophelia about Walker. And then, yeah, that was it for that scene. Yeah. Uh, Maddie just had a hissy fit. Go figure. Yeah, I don't blame her. A little bit. I'd be a little mad if my daughter got left behind. Yeah. Not that I have one, but I, I feel like if I Jake had has one, done enough to prove himself. Yeah. He's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, he's a little bit of a... I feel like you could trust him a little bit. Precious snowflake. It was her daughter that fucking followed him out there not... Jake's doing. Yeah, exactly. And we also, yeah, you brought Ophelia back. It is Ophelia, but Ophelia's telling you everything's cool, man. Just chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's saying this. Damn. Yeah, not good. So Walker shows uh, Alicia around. Um, yeah, we find out that, that Walker got his hands on that helicopter that that tragically took uh, Travis's life. Yeah, and she has like a little bit of a tear jerk moment yeah um she brings up trav alicia tells him that she hates him why <laughs> why do you hate him because she shot at him man oh well I it's know. the price of war man uh, yeah it's true uh they're just trying to color in the lines with these two yeah which makes me think are they gonna bond later because uh, they kind of bonded are. here yeah of course they are which is fine I'm okay with that. Walker is on my top list right now. Him and Daniel are up there. Uh oh. I want to see Daniel and Walker together. Well, they're in, you know, around the border area. I they're, don't know. They're in the same little. They're in the same yard. Yeah. I mean, we know ba- it's yeah. small. I mean, they're basically in a four-acre area. Yep. Eventually, they'll bump into. They'll each bump other. into each other. Strand and Daniel will make it back just fine. Don't yep. worry about them. Um, Jake tells Jeremiah that the tribe uh, needs water. Jeremiah would rather fight. Maddie is still mad about Alicia being gone, and uh, Jeremiah doesn't want to negotiate. Yeah, this is the time, well, one of the many times that Madison just abrupts, yeah, abruptly just enters right into in. fucking conversations. Yeah. You don't do that shit anytime. No. I fucking hate it. You're not a three-year-old. Two grown men are talking. Yeah. You're still a guest at that. You haven't made 
nothing. And you somehow know. she's always inserting herself. Yeah. No. Yeah, I feel like she jumped a line of about 30 people. This is like Rick level bullshit sometimes. <laughs> or... It is. It is. It really is. <laughs> Let's not copy everything we see on the other show. Yeah, there are some things on the other show that are bad. So Walker takes Alicia to a trailer. Um, she looks at a fake skeleton. He shows her a real skeleton of his great grandfather's. Um, that he saved from the Addos. Uh, he just wants to put the bones back, but Alicia is still questioning the afterlife. Walker tells her the apocalypse is an unveiling, and he keeps rambling on. I yeah, not it's, taking that special notes. It's he's trying to see because for some reason the show wants us to think Walker sees more into the Clarks, <laughs> yeah, than we do sometimes, yeah. Um, but I, I, I was following along. It wasn't a bad scene, in my opinion. It was his, He's, again, filling in the lines of what his side of point of view. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Later on, Alicia says, we got the wrong side, yo. Yeah. We picked the wrong fucking Whoops. side. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that when yep. we get to it. Yeah. Uh, so, Troy's tell... Troy. <laughs> Troy's. Who's that? New character. Travis's little um, brother? It is. It is. Troy's. 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 <laughs> Troy's. <laughs> Uh, let's move on. Uh, Troy tells Maddie Ophelia is dumb. <laughs> Maddie fills Troy's head about Walker being violent, then tries to get him to get Alicia. She says, you owe me. Yeah. Like, what a... F- oh, God. Oh, Someone... Why doesn't he just kill this bitch right now? Right? Nick and Alicia would be fine without this woman. Absolutely. I'd much rather see Nick and Alicia as the mains... At this point, I'd just like to see the Walker and Daniel show. And maybe yeah. Strand can Strand, pop up in there. Oh, man, that'd be a great one. You got a <laughs> lot of, uh, uh, what is it, the uh, ethnicity. Oh, you absolutely. You got a black man. He's gay. Yes, he's gay. You got an older uh, sus- Hispanic gentleman. Hispanic. Hispanic. <laughs> You're looking at my notes again. Yeah. And then you got an American Indian. What, yeah. What'd be fucking badass? <sighs> what a hell of a, like, a, a road. I feel like all you need now is, like, some kind of Asian. And then you're covered. Yeah. An Asian woman. We got to cover all bases. We had one of those at some point in this show. But she went down on a plane. And she went down on a plane. Yeah. yeah. Travis drug her on so, the boat. Yeah. For a minute, then she went psycho. Oh, boy. Um, so Jeremiah visits Ophelia. He's glad she's not dead. He starts babbling. He tells her nobody wants war and that he doesn't want her to complicate matters with old business. And he says, like, uh, what's the word he uses? Say you remember. agree. Oh, say you are right. Yeah, say, I think it was it. Say you, I don't remember. Uh, say Big I words. agree. Yeah, there was one word that he was like, say you agree, basically. And like, yeah. he's very passive aggressive. Oh, he is. He is. At this point, the dude it, doesn't it, like women. He doesn't like Mexicans. He doesn't like black folks. He really doesn't like, <laughs> like Mexican women. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's a double whammy. <laughs> God damn you, ladies. Uh, I too, am somewhat of a fan, though. Just saying. I'm there with you. Okay. You need a little spice in your life. I think you're right. So at this point, what did you think he did to her? Uh, not much, in all honesty, because yeah. it is Otto. And it's not much. Yeah. I mean, once they finally reveal in the next hour, I was like, okay, that I that makes it. sense. Yeah. But they didn't really explain to him why. Why the fuck is he near the border, fucking around down there? Yeah. Like his his ranch is not really in the desert part. No. So basically, his ranch is is the whole area these people have gone. Yeah. So Lucille's family was on his ranch. <laughs> yeah. This is why they keep bumping into each other. And he's only about 15 minutes from the coast. Apparently his ranch is all the way up in Montana because they got mountains, they got rolling yeah, water. We're going to see a waterfall at some point. Oh. A moose is going to come. We've already fucking... seen a waterfall, haven't we? Was it oh, a no, wa- not a waterfall, was a but cliff diving or some shit. Well, she jumped off the, yeah. uh, the high-rise pool. High-rise <laughs> pool. <laughs> Yeah, she dumped into the 12-foot uh, section. That was it. Yeah. All right. So Alicia feeds the pigs. Troy grabs her. He almost grabs... Or no, he he also grabs a random tribe member. Uh, Alicia tells him not to kill him, but he does anyway. Nick tries to take out a guard, fails miserably. Troy saves him. This starts a full-blown gunfight. Uh, they make it back to the truck and head out. This is all Madison's doing. It is. Um, is it- I can understand her point if Alicia died there. Fine. Go do what you got to do. Then you have to attack. But my point. in the beginning of the show, I'm like, <laughs> when I said, <laughs> she took one kid with her to go get the other kid. So you could have potentially lost both your kids, you idiot. Easily. 
Nick should have been in a safe like cage back at the house, being yeah. surrounded at by this point, security. Detail. I have no faith in Nick fighting himself, fighting his way out of a paper bag. No, and he's running in from the perimeter because they tried to establish the clerks were on the perimeter watching from above. What yeah. the fuck were you doing up there? Yeah. And then they go both run in, like because Nick runs in. Yeah, it, she potentially could have yeah. lost both her kids. Her argument would have been moot at that point. Yeah. Then she would. Maybe we have to lose both kids in order to kill Madison off. Maybe. Now we, I'd much rather watch fucking again Daniel <laughs> fucking Strand and goddamn Walker. Yes. Yes, definitely. Um, they fly through the front gate. Jake is pissed. So is Alicia. <laughs> yeah. um, Eddie takes responsibility. Jeremiah isn't happy about Maddie's shit. She put everybody in jeopardy. Everybody. And now, now the camp's in at, jeopardy. At what point do you say, all right, you, you talk to a few people. Like, hey, Ophelia, is she in danger? Yeah. Hey, Jake, is she in danger? Jeremiah, is she in danger? She never questions it, anybody. No. Like. She goes half cocked yeah, all the time. Somebody would have just been like, as long as we have Ophelia, it's fine. Yeah. She's not going to get hurt. And Ophelia's telling you she's cool, yeah. man. <laughs> Walker's really not that bad of a guy. It's a know. big misunderstanding, but Madison's yeah. just a bitch, man. I'm, I, I hate to use that yeah. word with a female. No, this, but... this here, I, I sealed it And it doesn't me. stop. <laughs> no, at all. <clears throat> you got like another hour and a half, folks. Yep. <laughs> of <Let's>... this shit. <laughs> so let's continue. Uh, Jake's loading up water. He asked Troy why he helped Madison. Jake tells Troy he's going to try to fix... Fix that. Uh, Troy tells him if he leaves, he doesn't think he's coming back. Um, Ophelia offers Alicia to come with her. Uh, Al thinks Ophelia knows something. Yeah, that's it. That that, that yeah, yeah. Well, that Nick's or not Nick, but Jake is loading up with the water. Troy well, yeah, stops he's, by and talks to him. Yeah. Do you think Troy wants Jake dead? I don't think he does. I don't think so. And now that the father's dead, do you think their bond is going to get any better or just more problematic? I feel like in real life they would be closer. Yeah. But I feel like in the show it's probably going to pull them apart. Yeah, and especially Madison having her fingers all up in there. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Go on. <laughs> Proceed. <laughs> no one said stop. Oh, no. Let me get the camera. <laughs> Uh, Jable might Jable. J- Who the <laughs> fuck is Jable? He's part of the tribe. Javel. Javel. Is he French? Javel. Yeah, he is a French. He French. was a French exchange yep. student. Yeah. Um, just happened to be in Arizona, mm-hmm. Trapa, Mexico place. I don't know where the hell they are. Where the fuck is Trapa? <laughs> Trapa, Mexico, or <laughs> Trapa, somewhere? Mexico? I don't know. You keep fucking making up words. I'm I lost. Am. I am. Trapa, okay. Mexico. I want to go to Trapa, Mexico. That's where the the best donkey to. shows are, right? I think so. <laughs> the Trapa, Mexico. Now, why haven't they run into any donkeys? Oh, uh, they're all been eaten. Good point. There's probably someone. They still got a donkey show going somewhere down there. Yeah, weren't they in Tijuana? They're, we're always in <laughs> Tijuana, according to this show. I'm so confused. I need a map. Broke ball, broke ball. See, you got me doing it. <laughs> broke draw ranch is literally on the border of Texas, or Arizona, right across from Tijuana. I feel like it's easier to follow the Game of Thrones without yeah, a map, dude, than it, it truly is, is to follow. Fear. It, this scenery makes me think Wyoming or fucking yeah, Montana. I feel like they're like, a little fur, further north than they're selling us. At some point, we're going to see Mount Rushmore, Rushmore <laughs> in the background. Like, God damn it. We're all the way up here. <laughs> Is that Chicago in the, <laughs> yeah. in the background? Is that fucking Willis Tower? Oh. God damn you. Did you just say Willis Tower? It's Sears Tower. Don't, You're right. You're right. I, I wanted to make sure everybody knew. Oh, geez. Sears Tower to us. It always will be. Always. That's it. Even if Sears Corporation fails as they do. <laughs> Give it time. It's going to happen It's happening soon. as we speak. So Jake makes it to the tribal place. <clears throat> he gets roughed up a bit. <laughs> a bit? <laughs> yeah. Well, um, Taka starts scalping him. Ophelia steps in. So he lets Jake go and tells him he'll scalp him later. Did you know like scalping is way older than anything that we put on screen? Because that, that's the go-to, right, with American Indians? Of course. It's the go-to. It's yeah. pretty gruesome, but yeah. like it's been done it's across all over the world at this point. All across the world, it's been done for centuries and really? centuries. Yeah, that's interesting. So, I get offended because, yeah. of course, I'm half Indian. You're the most transparent Indian. It I've shows ever my seen. Scottish side. Oh, of just, course, my Scottish okay. skin, but I so do have American outside, Indian blood running. American Indian yes, on the inside. I do. Okay. Okay. I'm just saying. All right. 
Just saying. All right. I believe you. I believe you. I understand I look like Casper the ghost, <laughs> but I swear to God. I believe you, man. No one does. I believe you. So Ophelia is dropped off at the front gate. Uh, Maddie, Jeremiah, Jake, and Troy have a chat with her. Again, another place Maddie doesn't belong. How is does Madison like sit at the front gate? How does she get to the house per house, knocking down doors at the front gate? First one running out there. She's that fucking neighbor that's just in everyone's oh. business. That's what she is. Everybody has those. Everybody has one. Some of the, our listeners might be one of those. Ooh. Peeking across fucking fences yeah. and shit. Yeah. You're trying to wash your car. They got to come and get in your business. Yeah, talking in your face. Oh. Face talkers. Ugh. Oh, boy. I hate neighbors. Here's the thing about this whole scene. We're supposed to believe that Ophelia got roughed up yeah. by Kataka. Kataka? Kataka. I thought it was Tataka. T- it's Q U or something like that. Oh. Oops. Yeah. We're going to call him Taka. All right. Because I think they even said that at one point. I, yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. Um. Why would Taka just drop her ass off there? Yeah. There should have been a red flag all over the place. If they, yeah. If, if they really wanted to kick her out of like his part of the world, they just would have dumped her in the desert. Yeah, again. and I understand you're you're cool with Ophelia, but at this point, it's war. Yeah, so you might not be harsh with her, but you're definitely keeping an eye on her. Who wins in a fight, her, uh, Alicia or Ophelia? Oh man, uh, I think Ophelia. I think so too. She's I, yeah. she is her da- her her father's daughter. She is. They even said as much in the show. Yeah. This is true. Oh yeah, they said they said that shit in the in the show because they want to make sure everybody remembers. Yeah, that's Daniel's daughter. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I thought Abigail was Daniel's daughter. No one knows. <laughs> I thought she was on flight four sixty two. No, Abigail is the character nobody can forget. Yeah, it well, was the worst character ever. Oh, oh man. So Jeremiah sends her into the inf- infirmary. Infirmary. It's infirmary. also known as that. Yeah. It, down there in Trappa. Uh, oh, man. Jake and Maddie stand up for Ophelia. Um, Maddie tells Ophelia she can stay with her and tells her and tells Maddie that Alicia was never in danger. Uh, she just got a taste of freedom. This was some weird cuts because I noticed like Jake's head was all like already healing and shit. Yeah, it was strange. Like and, this should have happened like the beginning of the next episode, I feel. Maybe, yeah. Or there was some, some weird like time skewing going yeah. on and some shit. I mean this show you do heal real fast. You do. It's true. You're right. Spoon in the eye, five to Tattoos. seven days, you're good. Tattoos, forget about two it. hours. Anthrax, fifteen to twenty minutes, you're straight. Anthrax is basically the common cold in this world. Yes. In a world with Yeah. Oh, you, and if you get anthrax, you, your first step is to get to a CB radio or whatever and call a cosmonaut and figure out what you can do. <laughs> yes. And That's if that doesn't help, set yourself on fire. Yeah, just do it. Or <laughs> something. Something good. Um, Troy has a talk with his his men. Uh, they want to attack. Nick offers to be a suicide note. Uh, Alicia sharpened her knife. Maddie is keeping an eye out. Alicia asks if Walker is really that bad. Um, she brings up Vern's family. Uh, everyone is on watch. It's pretty calm out. Almost too calm. Uh, one of the soldiers gets pretty sick. Then another. Maddie and Alicia go to check it out, but Ophelia stays behind. Um. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Yeah, it... This is some weird cutting again. Like my my analytical mind was already looking at the militia all in the tent. Like if they're all there, yeah, who's watching the perimeter? Nobody. They already established the fact that they got to like. It's so big. This ranch is bigger than the actual fence line or whatever. Yeah. The, the fence line doesn't encompass this at all. No, that's the other thing. I they basically told us they're not really encapsulated like Alexandria, no, or the Savior Compound or anything like that. No. They got fields upon hills and mountains, like like. The, Taka's group can just come in and just wipe him out at any time, which I have a problem with because Taka's been threatening war for years now. <laughs> yeah. And during like two hours of episode, he doesn't really do it. Right. I guess it makes sense ultimately because all he wanted was Otto's head. That's it. Um, and I was thinking like, why would you leave a suicide note of one man to fight? You have no men now. No. You it seems sex, like a dumb thing. Maybe. 
And now the, you have three. And the way they break into Taka's quarters, yeah. like it, you might as well just go fight there because <laughs> we do it like 80,000 times these two hours. Yeah, you're in and out of there. <laughs> Madison Bros in there. Everybody's there like 80 fucking times. If you do an account, at some point, Jake and Alicia walk up. Yeah. Madison walks up with Ophelia. Troy hits that compound twice. Yeah. <laughs> Madison goes back with Alicia to steal the remnants inside the trailer. That's yeah. like five fucking times. Yeah. Why does... Well, and Jake goes back by himself. Jake goes and back by himself. Scalped. Right. That's <laughs> like... Like, why not fight there? Might as well. Or at least some middle ground. Fuck it. It's weird. It was strange. It's goofy. <clears throat> so the camp is chaotic. People are turning. Nick saves a guy. Maddie rocks about 37 headshots, which I have a problem In the dark. With. And In the running, dark. Yep. And she's not one with the gun, you know. No, nah, yeah, I mean that shit. We, I think we just have to swallow that pill. Everybody, the apocalypse <sighs> switch turns. Everybody's a headshot guy. That's it. Headshot, headshot, headshot. So Nick sees Ophelia. She takes off. Then he gets sick. Da-da-da. Yeah, and the, this should have been. Well, it is kind of the end of the episode, but that is the end of the episode. And I think at this point, before they figured out Game of Thrones is on next week, they're probably yeah. we were supposed to sit for a week. Like, damn, Nick is gonna die. Yeah, we just wait two minutes. It's okay. <laughs> I, I knew he wasn't gonna die. Uh, no, neither he's did a I. Clark. Clark's Clark's got a lot die. of bitching to do in the future here. <sighs> a lot of doors are bust Ooh. open. Um, and that's where Nick sees Ophelia run off before that shit. And yeah. It's like I said, it, it it's good for this show, right? Yeah, it is. It's it is. odd we're us saying this, but it's like <laughs> when you have these type of problems with this goofy ass show, this is the same show that had Travis <laughs> breaking open a car door window and just <laughs> use the outside latch anyway. Yeah. Remember that. He he's the reason why we have the Ratchet Awards. Yeah, he this show is the reason this was created. <laughs> And now I feel like we're never going to be able to use that ever because now that we they're on us. No, we'll use it. It's going to come. It'll I know happen. it's got to happen. It will happen. Um, but that's episode one, three hundred seven. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Whew. Keep trucking along. All right, let's keep going. So we get a flashback of Ophelia walking the fence and getting caught by Jeremiah. Oh my god. Yeah, he gives her a sip of water. She asks for a ride. <laughs> then he tells her no. Um, Dick. Yeah. And not so nicely. Um, there's no use for her people on the ranch. Then leaves her in the middle of the desert. He knew he sent his, she was going to die out there. Oh, he yeah. even says He left her to die. Like, Good why luck. even give her water? Why even tell her to grab some shade? What shade, motherfucker? Yeah. And if my ass was in that desert, they would have found me dead real fast. Cause oh, real fast. Well, I would have melted. You are transparent. Instant, transparent. So you'd have been all blistered and shit. Oh, I've actually had, uh, what was it? My idiot family brought me to the beach one time when I was a little kid. <laughs> they didn't put any fucking things on me. That's nice. And so I had what you see later in it, not like a couple minutes later when uh, Taka's lower. Oh, she had the, like the blisters on I her shoulder? I had that. That's how oh, bad. I, I, my shoulders were burnt to a crisp. Damn. I think it was third degree or second degree burn, whatever. Ooh. And that's my family. So. That sounds awful. <laughs> they love I think you. I was. I think my family is the Clarks, actually. <laughs> Uh, so she's in pretty bad shape, but she keeps going. Uh, she has a visions of Daniel. She passes out. Taka finds her, uh, then takes her to his place. He bathes her and gives her some food. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Um, Again. it seems like Walker's place is more in the desert. So like, I, I just wish we had some sort of Game of Thrones map to beat off of. Well, maybe you should get on that. Well, what, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Draw it up on a piece of paper. Yeah. It'll be just a small one inch square and be like, this That's is him it. there and there and there. Yeah. Strands over in this corner. Yep. This corner. All the actions up in the northwest corner. The hotel was one square over. So yeah. this is how close <laughs> these people are. And the ocean is actually their divide. Like, yeah. Here's Mount fence. Rushmore. Here's Canada. <laughs> yeah. Um, Brochaw Ranch is still crazy. Maddie catches Ophelia. And then I think we got a commercial. So. Yeah, she beat her down. Yeah. Which is interesting. I guess we're starting to show the real Madison just beating motherfuckers. She's crazy. She, <laughs> <laughs> she crazy. Um, no, I didn't think much of this. Yeah. It was it was meant to be next week, but... Of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. So in, uh, 
in Fear the Walking Dead fashion, the ranch is already cleaning up the dead bodies. We miss all the good stuff. I like I, Walking Dead does this shit too. Like the whole place is under attack. All of a sudden, yeah. their bodies are like they're being multiplied by hundreds of people. Oh yeah, it's people we never even seen before. Nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, like, this is the same thing when something happens in Alexandria. Yeah. They go from, like, 30, solid 30 people to about 400. It's like that time when uh, the governor rolls up to the prison <laughs> oh, with the tank. Yeah. And, like, they finally break through and the gunfight starts to happen. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you see a shit ton of red shirts start firing <laughs> weapons yeah. from the prison yeah. side. Like, Rick's yeah. people. There's like, yeah. There weren't th- that many people in both camps combined. <laughs> yeah. Until we got it here. We got enough people to bury yeah. the dead. Why aren't they burning bodies? I know. I knew this was going to bug you. Yeah. Like, bur- why are we taking the effort to... I at know. the core, if you die, you're getting burned. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know, man. So Jake and Alicia are playing doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, how does Alicia know anything about IV nothing. lines? She nothing. She knows nothing. Nothing. She's like the nurse that gave me my last IV. Jake's like screaming, I need IV stat. I got it. Yeah. Like, what the fuck's an IV? Yeah, I'm looking at... I know the letters <laughs> IV. Hands her, she hands him a scalpel. She's showing him his tattoo. I know how to do this. Yeah, I did this. I'm good with stuff. I know how to do surgery. Yeah. So Jeremiah puts a walker down. Uh, <laughs> Maddie tells him Ophelia put powder in the coffee. Nick is in bad shape. He's fine. He's yeah, fine. Just give him a yeah. couple more minutes. Yeah. Uh, by the next commercial. She's like, pump him through with antibiotics. Like, a lot of, I think, spoiler alert, antibiotics might actually fuck you up if you're not the right antibiotics. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a doctor. I'm not Alicia, of course. I don't pretend to be one either. I don't pretend to be one, but I think that's I enjoy that's playing true. doctor. Oh, uh, yeah. Who doesn't? Mm-hmm. So Maddie's holding Ophelia at gunpoint. Ophelia didn't mean to kill anyone. I'm finding that hard to believe. No, I do believe it, because later on she tells Walker <laughs> that. Oh, like, she does. You're right. Like, you, I wasn't supposed to kill anybody, make people sick. Well, yeah. anthrax isn't fucking... <laughs> it's not good for you. Not good for you at any time. Uh, they show up. Maddie, wa- <laughs> Maddie wants to talk to Walker. <laughs> what a fucking... Oh, my God. This is God. like the 18th time our, our group has broken into this compound. Yeah. So Maddie wants to know what the poison is. He tells her it's anthrax, and there's no cure. Uh, he lets her leave. This is when he tells her... She has bigger balls than the Addos. This is this is just the writer's room trying to make us try to believe that she's like a worthy opponent. Yeah. It's yeah. irritating. And uh, it makes Walker look dumb. Yeah. He asks how old Nick is and he tells her <laughs> yeah. he tells her, eh, he might be fine. He went to the same school that Alicia did. Yeah. And like, how does this guy build anthrax in like what kind of clinical setting is going on here? How right. many poor American Indians died <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out the anthrax solution? No idea, man. <laughs> Walker's mad because his family died trying to figure out to make anthrax. Exactly. He's just taking it out on the autos. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> oh, it's man. goofy. Then he tells her to get her family and go. Uh, she says no. She declines. He's still, he's having dinner or breakfast, and he's like, hey, man, <laughs> get out of that camp. We're attacking sometime next year. Yeah. Actually, they come. They they deliver. He said he's gonna attack soon, and they do. De- After they-, they break into the fucking <laughs> the gas station slash hotel to steal all the relics. This is true. This is true. It took a while. So Strand is looking for supplies, and he finds no other than the show killer herself, Abigail. You don't like Abigail. You have a I, Abigail was the dumbest idea. It was. It in, was irritating. TV history. They put us on water in season two, and it was really irritating. <laughs> a whole season of nothing. Imagine all sun. we went through. We can talk about it now because he eventually burns Abigail. But in retrospect, we went through some dumb shit. Like those people that were like they aborted <sighs> the, the pirates. Siege, the pirates. Yeah. The, the family we met. <laughs> Remember the family we met and the mother like got out of the house, came down oh, to the pier. Yeah. It was like a walker knew where to go. Yeah. This is the shenanigans yeah. we, we try to forget about. I miss those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Abigail's in pretty bad shape. <clears throat> um, she's covered in walkers everywhere. They're dressed as cops and hookers. And he ends up taking them all out. <laughs> the best apocalyptic party we missed. Dude, I would have rather seen a se- season two of that. Yeah, oh, I mean, man. something bad happened. Someone, everybody must have did too much blow, and they it's all bad blow. Who knows? They must have had anthrax. They did the anthrax instead of the coke. Oh man, this show really missed an opportunity to play anthrax over music. Oh yeah, they come did. on, bear, you what missed the it. Hell? So Nick wakes up and tells Maddie Jake is, or Maddie tells Jake it's anthrax. 
Uh, Jake tells Maddie she doesn't lead the ranch, which he's true. Yeah, man, uh, this is like the eighth. I mean, I don't, Alicia tells off Maddie later. Yeah. This is Jake stepping up. This to is her. Jake. Like you don't lead the ranch. I'm like, ass. I would have smacked backhanded, backhanded her by now. I'm like, pow! Uh, shut yeah. your goddamn mouth. Yeah, I would have given her a backpack and been like, you need to leave the quarry. Peace out, bitch. Yes, and the backpack would have just been filled with rocks. Yeah, yeah, yep. Because you ain't getting any of rocks. Any. No, I'm not giving you anything. No, no. If you came with water, I might give you a half a half a <laughs> cup. <laughs> Wouldn't piss in her mouth if she was dying of thirst. There you go, Jeremiah. Oh, boy. Okay, Maddie checks on Nick. Jake tells Troy to gather people and go to war. Uh, Alicia tries to stop him, so she goes to get leverage. Whatever that was at the time. Yeah, there's no words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's no words. None. So Strand checks out the boat. She seems to be dead. Uh, he has some champagne. In Strand fashion. Yeah, and I again I talked about it on top of the the cast. I think this is just leading up to a better strand. He's letting himself go. Yeah, he doesn't realize it yet, just yet, until he has a nice conversation with the cosmonaut. Uh, um, I don't want to cover that part. The cosmonaut was speaking <laughs> from season two A. He's like, I'm still stuck out here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm right. still stuck in season two A. I'm gonna <laughs> die here. Uh, um, but that's it. It, you know, oddly enough, I enjoyed this strand dying. Yeah. It's basically the strand dying in a new yeah. rebirth of yeah. him. He better come back as a badass, is what I'm saying. He might. He better not be no frizzly, I need a special car, special clothing. Yeah. No. No, I don't think so. So, Jake checks on Nick. Nick's ready to get up. Jake won't let him up. Nick knows Jake is sick. So, we. Yeah, see, here it is. Again, there's some shenanigans going on in the cutting room floor. Yeah. Is Nick partially sick with anthrax? How can he fight through anthrax is my question. Right? <laughs> anthrax apparently weakens in the apocalypse. I guess. But, so J- Jake is sick. Is he tired sick, or does he have anthrax? Or is he sick with just straight-up depression because the shit's all falling <laughs> apart? We've yeah. not even explained it is. <laughs> no, and we don't, we don't ever touch it again. We don't ever so touch it again, Jake. Why are we wasting our time? I'm saying <laughs> a little bit of season two, one, yeah, yeah. season they one, season issues. two, A, B is starting to trickle back in. It's coming through. I wonder if there was a writing thing. We have to make a note of that to look at the writer of season or episode 308. Yeah. I wonder if like this asshole was flirting with two shit. Probably. Probably. So Jake tells him Jeremiah is burying the dead. Um, <laughs> Jake tells Nick <laughs> he'll disappoint him. He's pretty true about that. Yeah. Um, so Jake's a realist. I think Jake was trying to play the good cop yeah. for most of this season, trying to be the proper. And I think he was trying to become a leader, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. A better Jeremiah, obviously. Mm-hmm. It's what he's doing. And he's telling Nick the truth here. Yeah. Jake also blames Jeremiah for the hell they're in now. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, he's just speaking truth. Yep. So Nick sees Jeremiah burying bodies in a mass grave. Nick pulls up the floorboards. Jeremiah shot. Pulls yeah, up the floorboards that Jeremiah and shot. we called that. We did. We did. We didn't quite see it just yet. No, there. we we thought there was, and then we were like, "Oh, I guess not." But we were we were rightfully wrong. Rightfully wrong. Yeah, we were right, but then we were wrong, but then we were right. Yeah, it makes sense in your head. <laughs> Very few things do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that it came out to this way. In all honesty, I am too. I'm, I'm glad that they had enough for forethought to like okay let's establish yeah the bones and the creek something the very refreshing that you never see in the show it's fucking awkward it in a good way it is it's like the first when you lose your virginity things are kind of exciting you don't know what you're quite doing yet, and you're like i think i can do this tell me that's not your belly button <laughs> yeah i know does my pinky go here <laughs> wait wait that's mine <laughs> oh man ophelia visits walker what do i do with my nostrils <laughs> She tells him she cared about the clerks, and he turned her into a killer. Uh, He tells her she's a hero. Uh, Then tells her how he found her and how she wasn't afraid to die. Mady and Leisha and crew start a fire and try to steal a trailer. Again, dude, I've been saying it. Like, what? I get mad at Walker for letting this shit happen. You know what? If you were to put this on fast forward, this would be the perfect. Oh, that's true. Think about it. Every time they go back and forth. 
That's a good point. I didn't think of that aspect. Yeah. It's goofy as fuck. And it's like, <laughs> yes. I get mad at Walker's people. Oh, Maybe boy. Troy has the better militia at this point. <laughs> Maybe. And they've already been decimated by the anthrax. Yeah. <laughs> and as bad as Troy's militia are, why haven't these guys ever seen these people coming up? And like, I argue if <laughs> Walker's, I, I don't know what the, the hotel, I forgot what they're calling it. The Black, Black Jack Hat. or Black, Black Hat, Hats. Black Hat. The Black Hat regime. They're, yeah. uh, Troy and Troy's a dipshit. Yeah. Madison's in a bitch. Like they're able to keep sneaking up on this motherfucker at night. I don't know how this black hats are not like out on the perimeter, wide awake, looking around at all times. Nobody is. Is the most lax war ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's the convenient war. It's like throwing rocks from a distance. Stop it! No, yeah. you stop it. Yeah. Don't make me tell my mom. It would have made better sense if like we saw the reverse happen. Like the black hats were coming in at night, killing yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. Running off into Mount Rushmore. <laughs> George Washington's head got them crawling around on top. Oh, man. So Nick is digging. Uh, he takes his finds to Jeremiah. He shows him a skull and asks who it is. Jeremiah tells him the story of why there's bad blood between him, the founders, or between bad blood, and that him and the founders killed three, three of Walker's people. Basically, yeah. they were the Walker's people were toying around with his cattle, stealing it and stuff. So yeah. the four guys camped out one night and shot yeah. most of them. One was Walker's father, supposedly. Not during the cattle stuff. No, because it was later. an uncle. Yeah, and then the father came around looking for answers, and <laughs> that's when they <laughs> shot him yeah. and buried all the bot the body underneath the, yeah. the the adobe. I think they're calling it. Yes, the adobe. Um, so Nick tells him he thought. He was a cowboy, but he was worried about keeping the bodies hidden. Jeremiah tells him it's his land. Nick tells him the Indians are coming. So Nick's already jumping ship. Was that even supposed to be like a a sly joke? Like the Indians are coming, like we would hear like in a black and white western. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think he just meant like they're coming. I did, you know, oddly enough, and I don't know why I'm saying this or why it resonated with me, but I did like Nick's cockiness. Yeah. Uh, we're, oh, we've been taught that Alicia and Nick aren't dumb. They might no. be doing dumb things because they're a Clark, obviously. Yes. But they are intelligent. They're somewhat street smart. Um, it was sad for me to see like the Jeremiah and Nick show where he, Jeremiah was trying to be a father figure to him and try to, mm-hmm. he, as he says towards the end, counsel him. Yeah. Um, but I kind of seen where this was all going at this point. I mm, knew what was yeah. happening. Yeah. So Maddie, Alicia, and Troy, they show up with the trailer. Um, They want to use it as leverage. Uh, Nick, Maddie, and Alicia are looking at the skull and (laughs) realize they're on the wrong side. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. I enjoyed that part. Alicia's like, we're on the wrong side. I just like how they're manhandling skulls all over the place. Can you imagine doing that these days? You probably look like you probably get tossed in jail or get into a psychiatric ward. This is my dad. Okay. Okay. Sir, can you just stand right there? I'll be back. I'm going to be calling the cops right now and uh, stop. Um, Yeah. No, this was good because Alicia figures out that Madison lied to her. Nick was just covering both sides. I think Nick was just. Covering Alicia's feelings, but also covering for his mother's lie. Yeah. It's fine. It is what it is. This shit happens all the time in families. Not at this extreme, but (laughs) it is Madison Clark, so what are you going to do? This is true. So the kids think the Addos are monsters. Um, Nick tells Alicia the truth about Troy killing Vern's family. Uh, Alicia gets mad and yells at Maddie. Good. And yells back. Good. Yeah. But I have a feeling that we're going to be... We're going to be... Yeah, uh, showing people yelling at Maddie twenty four seven in this future of fear. Yes. <laughs> just like I can't wait to stop doing it. You, she's not listening. Yeah. <laughs> she's not listening. I, like I, we said it before a long time ago, maybe recently. I'm wondering if they're trying to make her the the bad guy, the villain, the villain overall. Like eventually, what? season eighteen of Fear, she's the bad person. Yeah, which I don't know. I much rather see the bad person early. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I mean, I think if she goes after Walker in this one, she could she could have been a villain. Yeah, maybe. You know. I hope Walker fucking scalps her. That would have oh, been awesome. That'd be sweet. She'd be the only person getting scalped without any facial emotions. Oh. <laughs> Stone facing. Please don't scalp me. She's talking about herself in a third person. This girl really hurts. <laughs> <laughs> 
Strands Radio goes off. It's some cosmonaut. <clears throat> they talk a bit. It seems like they're both ready to die. Then Strand loses contact with them. Yeah, I mean, even though this is such a shitty gimmick, I mean, what they were just exchanging was pretty poignant and pretty uh, heartfelt. The yeah. cosmonaut even tells him, "You're, I'm talking to you from my coffin or something like that. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty fucking creepy and dire if you think it about is. it. Yeah. Like that, I, I, was, I listened to it the first time. I was like, damn, he really is. It's like, he if is. you're stuck in a space station during the apocalypse, you're fucking you're done up home. there. And you're not dying right away either. No. So you're stuck there. Oh. That would suck ass. You I might as well just open up the door, right? Just open yeah, up the might door. You as well jump out and just. Yeah, and just get frozen immediately from yeah, deep space. Or just have, yeah, something. Or at least try to get to the moon somehow. I'm <laughs> like, fuck it. Let's see. Let's see. Let me be walking on the moon or something. Yeah. I don't know. That sucked. I did. It oh. did resonate with me for a minute. Like, damn. Just bouncing around in a closet. Oh, fuck. At least you have a chance on the ground. Probably all right on food. He wishes he was in Tijuana right now. He does. Maybe if he comes into this fuck, I told my wife, I was like, if that fucking cosmonaut somehow makes it to Earth and lands in Tijuana, I'm done. I am fucking done. Hey, buddy. (laughs) You said this 37 times since this show started. No, I promise you, it won't. It just won't fly. (laughs) I agree agree with you. Then we'll be out. Uh, Maddie meets with Walker. She tries to negotiate a deal. She hands him his father's skull. He tells her it's not his father. Maddie tells her. Maddie tells her side. Oh, Maddie tells her side. Uh, they have till sundown to move out or die. I should really use commas. Um, I, I honestly it got me here because I was like, I don't remember them exchanging these type of words. And in yeah. hindsight, it's like, okay, you clever fucks. Yeah, I was like, did you guys really fuck up this editing or? <laughs> it made sense and like I want to I want to be a part of that conversation between her and Walker but like yeah him saying I want his fucking head like mm-hmm. okay I'm on board with you yeah, how does she right. go about doing it I'm all on board yeah but don't play games why play games at this point it's fear Just... <laughs> it's fear uh, Strand starts collecting stuff from the boat burns that bitch to the ground and heads out did you see Thank that hero shot god yeah the hero shot with his sunglasses in the middle. Like, they yeah. just can't help themselves, they can't. right? They can't. I called it, too. I wish Mo was here. Like, they're, he's going to put those fucking glasses on in the middle of the night and then put that fire, like, and, they're gonna, and they did it. That's like, oh, you, yeah. I'm surprised those, I mean, it might be out there a meme by now. Oh, I'm sure there is. It's got to be, like, over, like, some sort of drug for herpes or, <laughs> like, or some, like, diarrhea. Just, like, whenever it gets lit on fire. Take such and such for the help of your oh, problem. Oh, man. That would be great. It's out there somewhere. <laughs> I guarantee it. Oh, man. Maddie tells Nick and Alicia about a man in Montgomery who helped a... Oh. Who was a twisted politician, an alcoholic. It was her dad. Uh, she had a hard life and shot him. Um, this fucking bitch was talking in the third person. It, this is bullshit, non non. There's no excuse for this shit. Wait, wait. So is this... So now she's from Montgomery. Is this the first we've heard of her being from Montgomery? I don't think so. Okay. I think I have a feeling we've heard Alabama before. All right. So if she's from there, why can't she just have an accent? Oh, it comes and goes. You know... It comes and goes. Just let the poor woman use her accent. She tried to kill her accent and only half died. Yeah. So... I feel bad for her. Just embrace it or not. I mean, it's weird. Yeah. I can get that... It might even be true to real life. She, the woman that plays her is from Georgia. Yeah. But you live in L.A., maybe. You're going to have some of your yeah. accents would weaken over time. Yeah. Just run around using that. Yeah. It makes sense. Unless she fucking let it slip so much that they had to build a backstory. They had to build the backstory for if, her accent. If they would have told us she was from New York with this story, I'd be oh, like, holy shit. No. <laughs> holy Get the fuck shit. out of here. They had to embrace the Alabama thing. <laughs> Um, and then she's going to go ask Jeremiah to make peace. Fuck the, you know, I, I said it. You I don't found talk this whole to, scene to be bullshit. That's how sociopathic this bitch is talking about herself in a third person. It's irritating. Yeah. This is let not me, how adult let imagine. Me, let me tell you a story about a girl. <laughs> just imagine like in real life, anybody listening, you rooster yourself. Sit there, someone comes up to you at work and starts talking to them in third person. You're automatically questioning like, is this asshole for real? I can't Am pay I on, attention to those people. I'm like, you're an idiot. I usually walk away from a person like that, like <laughs> yeah. as they're mid speech. Like, no, 
Like, you don't deserve any respect. No, you don't. you're just strange at that point. And you got a question, is there cameras on me right now? Is something happening? Am I in a joke show? Do I need to slap you? I have all these <laughs> Do questions. I need to slap you? So Mandy goes to talk to Jeremiah. He's boarding up his house. He offers her a drink. Um, he thanks her for standing up for Troy and trying to fix the situation. Troy, tra- Troy tells him there's one way to make peace. His head. Um, she puts her gun on the table and tells him he's going to do it. She tells him if he doesn't, he loses his legacy. Uh, he tries to get her to leave. She declines. Nick walks in without knocking. <laughs> it's uh, what Clarks do. Yeah, it's it's that easy. It's the Clark way. Yeah. Um, Jeremiah tells Nick, well, Nick shoots him before he can get it out. Um, Jake and Troy run into the house. Um, they take the body out. Maddie and family are on the balcony of the house that, looking over everything. That's so, like, Jeremiah's house. They're they the got their castle. Now. Yeah, they got the castle now, right? And this is we're supposed to follow <clears throat> Madison around for this series. Yeah. This is, irritates the fuck out of me. I know. So Maddie looks at a coffin. This is, this is like a montage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she gives Walker a backpack. It's Jeremiah's head. The uh, end. Thank God. Um, the the coffin. Like it was a weird breakdown. Of, like where they put that body. Where they took the yeah. took it in the back of a truck. They drove off. It looked like they went to another ranch or something off their fucking ranch into another ranch. What town's next to Tijuana? And how does that chick going into the barn? They went like, to Southwest Tijuana. Oh, the left corner. Yeah, the the left. Lower corner. left. Lower, lower left, right. Yeah. Lower right corner. Lower right corner. That's southeast. I said Southwest, didn't I? Yeah, yeah my bad. Um, you're right. Get your squares right. Is what I'm saying. Squares are hard. I um, like rectangles better. Well, it was funny. I don't know if anybody noticed this, but when she walks into this scene and Jeremiah's boarding up the window, he hands her the fucking hammer. And if <laughs> yeah. she's tapping it real quick as if like she was nailing in fucking staples. Yeah. It's like, like it was weird. Yeah. Like it was strange. Don't have them do that if it's that awkward. If this actress can't hold a fucking hammer and do it right, then don't have them do it. Yeah, why? It it doesn't I help dare anything. you people when this re airs or if you have still have a DVR, watch this part. It's hilarious. It's like and it, <laughs> it's not even to keep out a fucking zombie fly at that point. No. Um not at all. Oh man, I was thinking as she was walking up, especially on the first watch. Yeah. Walking up to that coffin, I was like, There's no way Travis is in there, right? Like I thought corpse? that for a split second. I'm like, is that Travis's corpse? Like, how did, is it going to be like Weekend of Bernie's? Like, if Walker felt bad for taking down the helicopter and oh, he saw the body drop. Like she gave him the corpse. He's like, kind of like what uh, Game of Thrones did with uh, Ned Stark's bones. He got him back to Catelyn. Yeah. Or, yeah. I thought maybe maybe that would have been more a better thing to see. That would have been cool. Like, I, you know, uh, to appease Madison to help yeah. her relax or rest mm-hmm. better. That would have been, but I don't know if she would have opened it up and we all would have enjoyed to see Travis's crushed skull in there. I would have loved that. to see, like, <laughs> crushed skull, like a maggot flies out of you his You could eye. barely tell. The only thing you could tell on him is his clothing. His tongue's hanging out like, Ugh. God, that would have been awesome. <laughs> then she got his body back. That's what I was hoping to see, but no, yeah. we, somehow she snuck past guards. No. Uh, no, I did like this last scene. Nick, that's Nick's first kill, right? Human I kill. I believe so. Yeah, he didn't even hesitate with that, huh? He was about ready to say something shitty. Like, your mother <laughs> reminds me, or you remind me, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's like, maybe of Troy yeah. or something. But now that all these Clarks have killed well, I, people. I was, I was under the impression that, <clears throat> that Jeremiah was going to tell Maddie he reminds her of himself. Maybe. Oh, yeah. You well, Because yeah. he's a pretty stone-cold killer. I mean, he just likes to kill minorities. Here's the thing says. about Jeremiah is that he's a killer for sure, and he's a racist, but he thinks he's doing it all for a the good. proper good cause. Yes. Um, which, ultimately, I guess every idiot thinks that way. Ask Hitler what he thought. Yeah. So. Jack all. <laughs> so. <laughs> they could have put Otto in a Hitler mustache. Like, oh, yep. We're in this. We're in this oh. together, folks. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, man. But, yeah, that's the end of the episode. Are you still it. Are you still sitting at the letter grades? Yeah, I'm staying solid right there. Um, yeah, I think I'm at an A minus, B plus right in that middle. Yeah, yeah. Depending upon if the student's fucker or not, I'll be like, you're a B plus today, asshole. <laughs> so, 
Um, Absolutely. This was part of our episode where we lead into uh, a couple ads. We got another iTunes review this week, yeah. which is awesome. We're at a five-star solid rating now. We appreciate that. And if you want to do that, head over to iTunes or head over to Loose Wire Network and hit the iTunes button, and that'll lead you to the iTunes page, and you can leave us your own review, which we will definitely read off. This week, it came in from Happy Gilmore, of all people. Titled Fun Podcast. Um, Miss Mo sounds like an absolute smoke show. Hmm. The other two hosts are all right, too. Damn. Well, that's it's probably it's still the, a five star. It's still a five star. <laughs> We're hanging on. Uh, but we appreciate it. Uh, Happy Gilmore. Last week, I don't think I said it out loud, but Miss Mo also wrote in. Not the we had this conversation. We did. It wasn't, we did. It wasn't the Mo Mo. You're lying. But... Yeah. I think someone teased it, but no, we appreciate all absolutely uh, all five star reviews. It helps us with the ranks, and you have no idea. iTunes algorithms blow ass. Yes, we might get a shit ton of downloads, Man, but you're just manhandling that screen right I now. I know. I'm just trying to like <laughs> do all sorts of things, but a lot of people don't realize if you don't. It's a lot of a lot of the algorithms to help us climb out of the the cellar is the reviews. Yeah. Um. It could even be the sh- even the one star review got a few weeks a few months ago. That actually helps because yes. it, it shows traction. So if you haven't done so already, please do so. Head over to iTunes or whatever podcast source you're using. Give us a review, and it helps us out greatly. And if you enjoy us, please subscribe. Um, another way, easy way to help us out is the uh, the Amazon link. Um, today, as we're recording, it's Amazon Prime Day, so you're not going to listen to this until Prime's over. Damn it. But if you haven't done so already, go to loosewirednetwork.com and hit the Amazon link. I, um, I have to go home and hit Amazon. Yeah, okay. I forgot it was Prime Day. It's Prime Day. A lot of good deals. Actually, a lot of good deals. Yeah. Some <laughs> fucking steals. 4K televisions for like 300 something. Oh. And right. I know you're still working off the black and white tube. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's why you can't. That's why you have trouble. Yeah. yeah. This is why I have such a hard time taking. You can get yourself and, nice new bunny ears. Yeah, it's a nice 14 inch. No, yeah. Um, it's solid. Uh, but yeah, please do so. If you if you if you have a trouble, you shouldn't have any trouble if you go to loosewirenetwork.com and hit the Amazon button. If you need a need one of us to send you the link, we can do that as well. So you don't have to go to loosewirenetwork.com. Um, but either way, hit the Amazon button. It helps us out greatly. Um, it's not like we're making buku money, but it's just a little pocket change. Um, and you don't pay anything extra, obviously. We just take cuts off of, uh, Amazon's profit. So please do so. Uh, tvtime.com is our friends over there. Millions of listeners and users all around the world. Actually, we got a lot of French listeners. I see those numbers over there. Yeah. A lot of, uh, uh, what's the other big country? Uh, like Israel. Really? Um, Egypt's big. All those guys. The world's actually a small place. It's as big as Tijuana, obviously. It is. So, it is. Fear has made me realize that the world's not that big. And I was messing around with their uh, Fear, the, Fear the Walking Dead page that they have on their app, which you can get off their website, iOS or Android platforms. But you can go in there and talk with people that are literally in another country, which is technically the internet. But you can talk about your favorite shows there. You can talk about your funny memes about that show. And again, the notifications uh, that this uh, app supplies is really great. Um, but give them a visit. TVTime.com. They've been great to us. Um, piece of email came in right yeah. at the start of the... <laughs> recording so i'm gonna read this as is no editing so god oh I, boy so god it's speed. not me it's them it's from our boy shaquille oh uh-huh. shaquille wrote in what's up shaquille he goes hi guys thank you so much for the recognition on my phone call i wanted to call in so fucking bad but i am currently writing this while getting a new tattoo nice skills oh. <laughs> Yeah, where's the tattoo, sir? Is it in your ass cheek? Lower back. Low, oh, <laughs> he's got a trampy. Unfortunately, mine's not going to heal as fast as Alicia's. Yeah, you're screwed. Yep. This season of Fear of the Walking Dead has definitely been the best overall. I honestly think Unser from Sons of Anarchy really boosted this show with his acting skills. He's talking about Jeremiah. Jeremiah, yeah. I thought he did very good. Um, Yeah, I, I'm going to miss him. He does. Yeah, he does I enjoyed seeing one. him. Why couldn't they take Troy? <laughs> yeah. 
If we need one asshole, Otto, let it be true. They Troy. always take the good asshole, yeah. don't they? Uh, yeah, that's true. We got rid of Travis, so we got to deal with Madison. Ugh. I did not like how they killed him off. Granted, he is a dick, but it's all Madison's fault. She fucked up the formula when she took her daughter back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that shit went south, you're going to ask the man that took your family in to kill himself? Really? Unbelievable. Also, Walker should have finished Jake's head off. It would have been brutal, but sus- suspenseful. Wait a minute. <laughs> but it would have been so badass. I do want Walker to have his own spinoff, though. See, he's on ours. Yeah. He's on Yeah. On Netflix, though. I would binge the shit out of that. Nick, he goes on, Nick getting sick was a complete waste of time. <laughs> I know he's not going to die, asshole. Stop with that corny <laughs> suspense. Please stop. Overall, it was a decent episode. Madison revealing that she killed her dad was a big shock for me. It would have been interesting to get it in a flashback, though. That would have been interesting. It would have probably been better than how she told it. Yeah, third person's bullshit. Yeah. How like we could have mi- We could have dealt with not having the Ophelia beginning and just showed us Madison killing no, her dad or something. I need the Ophelia. We yeah, needed but we could have used that later, though. No, how? Uh, dude, don't worry. I uh, figured it out. No, we could have got the... Uh, we could have got that flashback anytime. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe we still can. We don't need to see it now, but it's going to be her telling the story as we saw it. So it's going to be a third person, actual visual story. <laughs> <laughs> and this little girl is going to be black haired. Yeah. You know, Asian. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that, but it's not going to be her. It's, it's going to be a big her. fucking fake out. Yes. It's going to be her best friend when they were little kids <laughs> and they went in on it together. Um, He Good goes time. on. Side note, Game of Thrones comes back Sunday. Yes. Sunday, guys. I know RJ says that Rooster will get the names wrong, but that's what's going to make it funny. <laughs> I didn't quit when he got the names wrong in The Walking Dead. I'm not going to quit now. Oh. Maybe RJ can get his wife to play moderator when you guys fuck up. Oh, that she- might help. <laughs> <laughs> he goes on. She does take good notes after all, LOL. Take care, guys. Hope to hear from your... She Next took week. more notes on one episode than I did this whole season. This is probably true. And no, she that wa- is true. I did the math. Really? It's close. You're a liar. If it wasn't for this one, she did beat me. You you, you know what your problem is. You know it. What? You're watching it one time. I am. And you're, I, you're the cheating season, our listeners. The season wasn't supposed to be that good, okay? <laughs> I, so you're saying you're going to try harder 3B? Yes. Oh. I apologize. No more trope Mexico or whatever you called it? Tropa? Tropico? Trop- yeah, Tropa now Mexico? it's Tropico. Yeah. yeah, whatever. That's a new town in Game of Thrones next week. Oh. <laughs> uh, he goes, take care, guys. Hope to hear from you next week. Seriously, guys, please don't leave. <laughs> Have a Game of Thrones party and podcast that shit. Shit, I'm going to, I'm going to two already. Peace, guys. Where, where's our fucking invite, man? Man, dick. Sounds like he's from New York or something, so I better... Uh, yeah, it's a short We're going to fly out. in for an appearance. I would have. We're a bunch of nobodies just showing, hey, yeah. how you doing? Hey, I brought a six Is pack. Shaquille there? Yeah. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, thanks again for writing in. If you want to write in, it's easy to do so. Uh, you hear me say it all the time as soon as I pull it up. Critically deadcast at gmail.com. Facebook.com slash loose wire studio at critically underscore dead is the Twitter. We have other ways of listening to us too. YouTube, SoundCloud, all those blah, blah, blahs. Uh, so please visit those if you want to listen to us or stream us there. Um, that's close to being it. Am I forgetting anything? The voicemail. What's the voice? I can't do all the jobs. Well, man, man you're listing all these other things off. I don't want to stop your rhythm. You can act. You can jump in and say, "Hey, all right, I'm number. jumping in." Dumber. Oh man, seven zero eight five eight four zero five five two. All our listeners are chickens. They're not going to they call. There, no one's going to call in. Nobody is because they. You have to call in if you want in the quarry, is what I'm saying. Oh, so now it's just Shaquille. Now it's Shaquille and Adam, Adam. And Resident or, Knucklehead. Resident Knucklehead, that's right. I mean, that's it, man. That's the rule. That's it. it. Even when the phones fail, we're going to be at the game, like, act like you're calling in. Yeah. <laughs> While you're filling out this questionnaire. Pretend to punch in this number. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to know right away how fucking crazy we are. <laughs> you're going to give you a flip phone, like a la carte, like, here's your Nokia. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's a green on green screen. 
Stop playing Snake Chase or whatever it was called. <laughs> Snake Chase was amazing. I don't even know what that is. Was that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna help. I'm build trying it. to think. I don't even know what that was called. I don't. It's Snake. I just called it Snake Game. You should look it up, or not now. I don't. I can't because I can't get on your internet. I told you the fucking password. <laughs> no, you didn't. You oh. said it was the same. Oh, that's right. I don't right. remember right. what it was. Oh. I don't even remember what our passwords are for everything else. It's bad enough when we're done. I got to put your pants back on for <sighs> you. It's always something. Well, I have to do your belt. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get people to dress us at quarries. Yes. Especially you. I'm just going to wear a moo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a headdress. Hell yeah. It's going to be hot in the summer. Who cares? Someone's going to, yeah, these will be rules. There are um, rules. So, yeah, that's going to be a podcast. Um, we haven't decided what we're doing moving forward. I have a feeling <laughs> we'll be flirting with Game of Thrones. I don't know if it's going to be Tuesdays <sighs> or something like that, but I don't want it yeah. to get. See, the thing is, like, I don't want it to get late in the week either. So it's almost no. pointless. Someone's listening to the podcast right before the episode airs, the next week's episode. Yeah. I would love to do it and make us put on our big boy pants. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's grown up shit. That's some yeah, that's some grown up <laughs> ass shit. Uh man. I don't know. Let that's bear like with a, us, that's everybody. Like a man cast there. That is a man cast. We well we did it before. Third. We did it before. Battle wanna, of the Bastards. I don't want to take notes on that shit. I just watched that the other last weekend. Oh, it's so good. Oh God. So good. I gotta change my shorts. You're not wearing any shorts. No, when I was oh, watching, when you were it. watching it, watching it. Okay, my girl Liana, Liana Mormont, <laughs> giving that room full of men what the know how. Oh, oh, yeah. What a badass kid! She's the baddest, baddest ass nine year old I've ever seen. Oh yeah. So oh, and they said that it's coming back. Fear the Walking Dead's coming back after Game of Thrones runs. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yeah. Is that what they said? Yeah. After Game of Thrones Some runs? September 13th or something like whatever that falls on a Sunday. Oh, good. So we're off the rest of the summer for fear. Yeah. And then obviously the math works out probably backs right into The Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're going to sure we're going to have a big 16 episode <sighs> window to fuck around fucking with. Fucking marathon. <laughs> a fucking marathon. <laughs> if you, anybody wants to, uh, us to do a television or a uh, movie, they have uh, to yeah. suggest. Yeah. We can do that as well. We but did Pontypool. Pontypool was interesting. Night of Living Dead. I really need a legitimate something or another to talk about to wash <laughs> out fear and <laughs> zombies and stuff. Yeah, we need. I need a man up, in all honesty, and do Silence of the Lambs. I don't know how entertaining that would be, like to listen to people talk about a two-hour drama. Well, I mean, if I took notes on it, we'd be down to about forty-five minute movie. You would be calling Clarice, Clarice, and <laughs> Charlatan, even or whatever. Better. Even better. So I don't know how that would play out. I know people Clarence. want me to do Buffalo Bill for two fucking hours. I don't think like, you could do it for. two I hours. I couldn't do it either. But we could bring him out of the cage here and there. Yeah. What? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. He'll come and do <laughs> it. Come. All right. Cool. Um. Cool. So yeah, that'll be a cast. Um. I think that's it. All right. Before I keep fucking meddling on, I'm RJ. I'm the rooster. And see you guys later.